year 1600, on the streets of Queen Elizabeth I's London, a bizarre and violent series of events took place. This is the true story of an abducted child and of how his father tried to get him back. Set behind the scenes in the golden age of Shakespeare, it sheds a shocking light on a world we can barely comprehend, long before children were thought to have rights. This is a story that's darker than, than we can imagine. It tells us something that we would very much rather not know about boy actors in Shakespeare's day. Children are so often missing from history, but this tale has survived by the skin of its teeth. Shards of evidence from a few key documents reveal a gripping narrative, and it's one that implicates the Queen herself. But many of the details have disappeared over the centuries, and so we have to imagine the gaps in between. As a novelist, writing books for children almost exactly the same age as The Stolen Child, I find this story completely fascinating. It feels so fictional, so strange, so unlikely, so far from the Britain we inhabit. Yet this tale also resonates across time, reflecting some of the deepest fears we still hold today. This is a story of politics and of religion, of money and fame at a time when the nation's anxieties were played out nightly on the stage. But most of all, it's a story about childhood and about power and about the question of what happens when the two of them collide.